Let's chat and make some art. Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm gonna to take you along with me while I make some art. And the art that I'm making is art that I would generally make for myself. And I'm showing you that today so that I can explain to you and show you why it's so important. So much of art making today is external. We use social media to share our art, to get it out there so that it can be seen and shared with the world. And most of the time that's beautiful. We're really just completing the cycle for the art, right? Is that many times the point of making it is to share it so it can be seen and experienced by others. The challenge with that though is social media has a way of keeping the process an external process and removing the focus off the internal. Making art that is just purely for ourselves, um, art that you know may never be seen by anybody is important and I would argue that it may very well be the most important art that you make. By making art that is just for you, it frees you up so that you can experiment, so that you can play with your process, so that you can try new things, so that your voice and your process can evolve in a very natural, organic way as you change and you grow in your life. By using a book to make your art, whether it's a sketchbook or an art journal, whatever you prefer, or both, the very nature of putting it in a book is like a signal to your brain that this isn't really art that's going to be sold, right? Most people don't sell their art journals or their sketchbooks. It is art that is really purely for you. And with that said, let's go make some art. I put everything out on the table that I'm going to use um, if this is your first time here, what I usually do is just go around my studio and gather things that I feel like playing with today. Um, and I just got a bunch of new art supplies a couple of weeks ago, so that's mostly what's on my table. I put out some paints over here, um, so I already have colors I know that I might want to use just sitting there ready to go. And there is all manner of dog barking and crow cawing outside, so if there's like a ton of background noise. It's nature and there's nothing I can do about it. So let's just check out what I have here. This is sort of like a art journal that I made in a previous video and I'll go ahead and make sure that's linked. It's basically papers that I played on doing some mixed media and I folded them up into a little book. The page in the middle is loose so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that with some tape. That's gonna hold that in, but I'm gonna go ahead and bind the whole thing together. This isn't really binding, but I'm just gonna tie a ribbon around it to hold the pages together. There. So this is just a journal for me to keep on my table. It's something that's just easy to grab. There's already something on the pages, so it's gonna make it easy to jump into. And I realize the irony a little bit right now that I'm showing you what it is that I'm doing, um, but this particular journal will be kept largely for me. I might share a page here or there on Instagram, but there won't be like a whole bunch of videos uploaded to YouTube. Um, about this journal or pictures on, you know, about every page on my Instagram. So now that this is put together, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a page to start working. I'm going to use this image, so I'm just seeing where this might go. I really like this on this page, but let's see if there's anything else that fits. I love working on this. This is canvas paper that's in here and just gives a nice texture, something different. That could be a good page too. Hmm. 
really like this. I like this pattern in the dark over here and then the light to make this dark pop out. And I think, I think I might use that one. Let me see, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And this is the part that I wanna show you is that I'm not planning the point of this is to just get some thoughts down about what's maybe inspiring me right now so that there's some magic on these pages. And when I come back through for myself, it's either a memory or that thread of magic I can pull on just by looking at it and bringing that into maybe another piece of art that I am gonna share with other people. So this is my handy dandy glue stick. Um, if I'm not doing a lot of collage or painting, this is what I like sticking my images down with. And this is, it's not a school glue glue stick, it's a craft glue. It's an all purpose, but it's more of a craft glue stick. It's a little stickier. I'm gonna let this dry and come back and seal it with gel medium later, but I'm just gonna go ahead now and have a play with my other supplies while this image dries. We've had a really busy weekend and really what I wanna use this for is just pulling some magic into my art practice and relaxing and letting go and having a play because it's just been so busy and go, go, go the past couple of days. These are my watercolor markers and I haven't used these in different ways yet. And I think I'm just gonna come in over here and throw some color in and bring some green onto these pages. And I'm gonna use this paint pen to dirty this up even a little more and bring a dark in up here. This is also a good time to just notice um, and be present while you're working and just notice what you're doing is working or not working. This is bringing some opacity to some areas of this page. And by doing that, it's helping to push and pull and bring some depth over here. I quite like that. So that might be something that I wanna bring into a painting at some point. And this is a record and a reminder so that when I flip through these pages, this is something that might solve an art problem and a painting for me in the future. It might serve as a jumping off point for playing with something else or some new idea. And that's just what's so great about these. I'm just gonna take some matte gel and go over this image here just to seal it. It's gonna allow me to do different things. So if I end up putting something on here that I don't want to, I can wipe it off. Um, and I also like to put paint on intentionally that I know I'm gonna wipe off and leave residue there. because it just gives it this certain look. I'm actually gonna switch it to gloss gel. And the reason for that is I like the finish of matte gel, but I feel like gloss gel just seals a little bit better. If you don't want a bunch of um, lines in it, you can use a soft brush. I like having the residue of the brush strokes in it for texture, so I'm using a bristle brush instead. So now I'm just noticing and I know I want this photo to pop so I need something dark at the bottom for that to happen. It's going to vignette the image a little bit and for this particular image it's already vignetted with darks a bit around it so it's just going to be an extension of that. 
For me, that's really fun because this is going to let me almost create a little mini world that I can go into on these pages as I'm flipping through in the future. And this is just a mixture of some yellows and black. It creates a really nice dark green um, that has a nice mossy natural look to it. I want to do a little bit of journaling today and in order to do that and have the words even kind of show up, I like to do messy writing anyway, um, I do need kind of either a light or a dark area that's pretty uniform in order to get that writing to show up. It's just a way for me to write some things and have a reminder of maybe why I made this page. It can just be almost like a little bit of a brain dump. It can be a string of words that come to my mind that I'm really trying to pull into my life right now um, or something that I'm trying to pull into my art. Could also simply just be a record of something that happened that day. Having art journals and sketchbooks really create these artifacts of your art life. It is a stack of beautiful, crunchy pages. They are mismatched. Some of them are great. Some of them are awful. And they're all mixed in together in a way that tells the story of your growth as an artist. Art journals and sketchbooks can also be used as a way to record your life. Sketchbooks can be used either, you know, weekly or daily, and they can be used to just try sketching mundane things, things around your house, things in your studio, things out in nature that you've seen. It's a collection of what you've observed that day, what caught your eye. And art journals are really an exploration of your internal world. It's almost like a very artsy scrapbook in a way. A lot of times, especially for me, where I use a lot of photography, even though it's not my own personal photography, it's something that grabbed me in that moment, um, something that helps me tell the story of the moment that I'm in. And when I look back through all of those, it gives me a chance to remember whether it's that summer or that season that I was in, the growth that I experienced, um, whatever I was really interested in at the time, I can look back fondly on that. And even sometimes it can give you ideas to combine things in a different way. It can give you a fresh perspective on your art and that can be really fun too. Having a stack of books that you can go back through is just, it's absolute magic for your art practice. It's an expression of your internal world on the pages that isn't necessarily looking for validation. And I share my art journal sometimes, I share my sketchbook sometimes, but I don't share everything. A lot of it is really just kept for me. It's a way for me to stay in touch with what's important to me in life. It's a way for me to process things in life. And it's a way for me to capture those threads of magic in the everyday and keep myself connected to them on the pages. And I absolutely love having the chance to go back through them. So this just integrates it a little bit. For me, this page is a world that I want to be able to come back to, and so I want her to look like she belongs here, like she's part of this place that I'm creating on the pages.
Repetitive marks for me tend to be very meditative, so I like to bring those into my pages wherever possible. It gives me an opportunity to use art journaling to relax me and relax my mind. I'm going to go ahead and write a few words about what I want to bring into this, what this evokes feelings for me, and it's just going to be like a little stream of consciousness so that I remember when I come back to this. And I think that's finished for me. This has all the elements of things that I wanted to do today. I got to make some repetitive marks to just quiet my mind. I got to play with color. I got to play with supplies. I added an element of writing to this. So I remember, you know, things that really evoke that magic for me in artwork. I hope you can see how fast this was to do. This wasn't some big long art project. I sat down and just had an opportunity to play and bring some stuff out from inside onto the pages. And I hope that you can see how beneficial this can be for your own art practice to have pages like this that are just for you to tell the story of your own art journey. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.